Hi, it's um, Esther from Art by Esther A, and I thought that we could start with a simple idea for mail art and designs for mail art, or snail mail. I thought that um, I actually came up with this idea thinking about mail and what um, methods of communication that we've had over the years, and um, made me think about Morse code. So that's kind of the basis for this design. It's uh, dots and dashes. So basically, uh, to start off, I've put a circle in the corner, a line, circle, line. I thought, let's start with a really easy one. And we're just going to go around the entire corner, each corner rather, each side of the envelope. And you can also do the back side. And you can put a little heart where the lines join, or you could put another circle, or like uh, even the word thank you with some dots and dashes. So there's a couple of ideas for you there. So if I've already started a little bit for us, and we're going to finish it up now together. It's a lot harder to hold a camera and draw at the same time. <laughs> and if you have any questions or you'd like to see a video on on something that you're interested for a tutorial or some tips on please don't hesitate to send me a message through my Facebook page or on here on YouTube so I think this will be a little bit easier I've ordered a camera stand so hopefully it'll get here a lot faster because <laughs> I need it so I can be free to draw but I thought maybe we could still cover a couple of ideas now this doesn't have to be straight because when I go with it over with the marker I'll um, have a steadier hand So I can see how much space I've got left and I want it to line up properly and not be out of the pattern with two dots so I make sure I can make the line a little extra long to join them up like I did in this corner. Okay, that is really really easy and it's a way to decorate your envelope so it's it looks kind of fun. And with a little bit more of an effort, you can add some color and really decorate it. Um, obviously, there's still enough room for your name and address and the address see who you're mailing to. So I thought, what if um, it's too plain and you want to add some more design? I'm all up for that. So we're going to head and add a little bit to the blank space in the middle. Even though the stamp or stamps depending on how much you're putting inside but even though the stamp will go here you can still draw in the area and it'll be cute because the the design will stick out from behind the stamp so I thought we could draw a couple of circles and again this is all freehand it doesn't have to be perfect let me see if I can eliminate the shadow there for you And usually when you do a design, you want it to be uh, cohesive. So I wouldn't start putting, um, you know, something that didn't have anything to do with this concept. 
but you really can with little circles and lines and stuff. You can do anything, anything you want. It'll fit right in. Put a little bubble there. I'm not liking this so much. So I'm going to erase. And I always do a design in pencil first before I start outlining it with the markers or coloring pencils or paint um, because it really allows me to change my mind or, or uh, fine tune a, a drawing before it becomes permanent. And some of these might get covered by the addresses and I'm going forward with the design with that in mind. So I'm okay with it getting covered, but if you don't want your design to be covered or you're going to be painting it very dark, your addresses won't show through so well. So you want to make sure you avoid the space where the addresses are going to go. And one really easy way to do that is just lightly draw a box okay and you can remember that um, the person you're delivering to will be written in here or larger depending on how big you write and that way you can adjust your design accordingly but this also helps with vis visualization if you're more a visual person put a couple of small ones to tidy up some of the small spaces. 